Pepe in Prodigy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to catch the Brawl in Prodigy. Hey, what's going on everyone? One Doctor Genius here and welcome back to the Prodigy video. The Brawl is a super rare electric type pet in Prodigy. And without further ado, let's hop on straight into our video. So guys, in order to catch the Brawl, all you guys need to do in order to do this is just make sure you have Divine Incinerator 2000, right? Alright guys, so you don't really need much to do this quest, all you guys gotta do is you just gotta follow these instructions. So right, before we get to that, let me tell you guys a little bit more information about the Brawl. So right over here you guys can see this is what a Brawl looks like. Now at level 70 it has 7825 hearts, its element is Storm, it evolves at level 24 into an Acromy. And if you guys want to know how to get an Acromy, well you guys can watch this video over here. Now we can cast the spell Ion Cannon, Unlimited Power. Snowling Ball along with Forest Hurricane, right? So I will be showing you guys that in battle right now. And... And not only that, let's check the pet book and see what its description says about it, right? It's right over here known as pet number 28, so let's check it out. Right, the Brawl is a smart creature capable of long division with no remainders. Capable of long division with no remainders? Alright, alright, let's see how the Brawl will do against 22 by 7. Alright, so it seems like the Brawl is a smart bird capable of doing long division with no remainders. Well, I'd like to see this guy divide 22 by 7. Good luck with that, Mr. Brawl, because you're going to be doing it for eternity. Anyways, if you go to the statistics, it seems like it has a 40-60% to power to heart ratio, so meaning it's less powerful, but it does have a lot of hearts. Right, so now basically that's all of the information we have about it right now. So let's hop into a battle and show you guys how to catch this pet and how good it is. Right, so now obviously you guys know it's a storm element, which means it's weak against storm, ice, and astral along with shadow. Not only that, but it's strong against water and neutral against fire. Alrighty guys, here we go, we're casting our spell on the opponent's hub and you guys will see over here we do 1000 damage. So right now, because my one is a level 70 isn't too strong, so I'm gonna quickly switch out my pets right now to put my wizard up front, so let me just quickly obliterate our opponent. Alright guys, we've cast our spell, which should be doing 4,000 damage to the opponent's monster, meaning that monster is almost defeated. Now all we gotta do is we just gotta cast one more spell, and then I will be showing you guys what to do after this. Wait, let's quickly terminate this monster. Havada Kadabra, there we go, we've just cast our spell, and the opponent monster has been defeated. Right, so we won the battle, and now let's continue moving on forward. Alrighty guys, so first of all, in order to catch a Brawl, what you guys will need to do is you'll need to head to the side over here. Now once you guys head to the side and battle the monster over here, what you guys want to do is you just want to sneak around the top over here, right? If you guys sneak around the top, you guys will be able to skip this monster battle. Now do make sure that you guys skip this monster battle because it will help you out a lot. Right, now if you guys ask me, that's pretty cool. Our luck is insane right now because a Brawl has summoned in over there. So now in order to reach that Brawl, what you guys will have to do is you just want to battle this Tribeak and skip this monster battle over here. So we just go ahead, battle this guy, and go after the Brawl. It's actually pretty that it's actually that simple to get the Brawl. Now if you excuse me, I'm just gonna cast the all-out attack and instantly obliterate the enemy team. Now that I have defeated this monster, I shall go and ambush the Brawl and catch it as a pet. So right, it's actually pretty much that simple. Now if you guys don't end up with a Brawl spawning in over here, what you guys can do is you can always hit the reload button, but you guys can tell it's actually going to be super easy to catch the Brawl. Now of course, this Brawl is at a higher level, so I will eat my first pet Brawl out the window. Right, so let me just quickly catch this guy. Hippity hoppity flippity floppity you have lost life privileges. Right so let's quickly obliterate both of these owls and continue on moving forward. I have answered another question correct. Another spell has been casted. Another 4000 damage will be dealt. 
And yeah, there you guys can go. First Brawl is below half health and the second Brawl is getting pretty close. So right now, let's quickly catch this guy by clicking that rescue tap button. Bam. And yes. Kawabunga! Here we go, we're casting our spell which should be able to free this unfortunate Brawl from the clutches of the Puppet Master. Now that we've managed to catch the Brawl, let's check the other guy's level. It's the exact same, so we can just um, one-shot this guy. Like, two-shot, but yeah, you get my point. Expecto Patrono! Here we go, we've casted our spell, which has done approximately 4,000 damage, meaning the opponent has, is almost dead, and we can, like, just cast one more spell, and we should be able to show you guys how powerful the Brawl actually is. Big brain time! Let's cast our spell, which should be able to completely defeat the monster, and now what I can show you guys is I can show you guys the spell set of the Brawl, and how good the Brawl is in actual battles. So let me just quickly find a water opponent and then I will be showing you guys how good this pet is. Our Evolutus is so close to leveling up guys. Do you see that? It's super close. But unfortunately we can't do that. So now let's head over to Shipwreck Shore and tell you guys the information about this new Brawl which we caught. Right, so let me just open up our pet book right over here. Let's equip this guy over here. Go to his information. You guys can see his info over here. And yeah, let's head into battle and see how good this guy is. Now our quest for a worthy opponent shall start. Oh, found it. Well, yeah, let's battle this guy and show you guys how good the Brawl actually is. So right, let me just switch over to my level 88 Brawl and then we can start fighting this guy. Here we go, it seems like that the Aqua Stir casted the spell Torrento which only did 1,900 damage. So now let's cast our electric spell and show you guys how much damage it does. Alrighty, here we go, we're casting the spell Ion Cannon, and it does a whopping 3,494 damage. Now that is the amount of damage a level 80 wizard could do, so that is actually a fair bit of damage to the opponent monster, meaning it will only take us two more attacks to kill this guy. Here we go, let's cast the spell Ion Cannon once again, and let's take a look at the attack animation, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to cast the spell Unlimited Power and take a look at its attack animation. Alrighty, so for its attack animation, it seems like that the bird lifts up its left foot and then stomps it down, creating an electric shock. And over here, guys, can see its attack animation is pretty decent, and we finish off the first monster. So now you know how to catch a battle, so you guys can check on that video on the Acromy to figure out how to get an Acromy. And guys, that's all for this video. I hope you guys found this informational, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already, and I will be catching you all next time. One Doctor Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time, guys.